Hello friends, I am Vinod Prabhu and I welcome you to the third video on time and work uh, on our channel 7 Sense Aptitude Prep. Uh, the other videos of time and work are in the... Let's start off. So in this video, we are going to look at problems of the type part, fraction and percentage of work, which means someone finishing a part of the work in some days, someone finishing a fraction of the work in some days, someone finishing a percentage of the work in some days and questions which have these sentences in the uh, statements, right? These sentences in the question. So let's look at a concept uh, for this particular video set. If I do half the work in seven days, how much time will I need to complete the work? If I take seven days, so let us say I divide the work into first half and second half. Okay, first half and second half. So together the work completed will be one. So in the first half I take seven days, in the second, second half I take another seven days. So total time taken is seven plus seven, which is equal to 14 days. So if I do half the work in 7 days, how much time will I need to complete the work? 14 days. Let us say if I do one third of the work in 7 days, how much time will I need? So for one third here, one more one third, so one more one third will make the work as 1. So I take 7 days here, 7 days here, 7 days here, I then take 21 days to finish the work. Hmm? If I do one fourth of the work in 7 days, I will do 7 plus 7 plus 7 plus 7, which is 28 days. So simply it is, if I take... 1 by, if I do n, 1 by nth of the work in x days, 1 by nth of the work in x days, I finish one work, as in I finish the work in n x days. So, here 1 by n, if it is 2, number of days is 2 into 7. If 1 by n is 1 by 3, okay, then we take 3 into 7. So, it is like that. So, if I take, if I do 1 by nth of the work in x days, the full work is done in in next days. Okay, full work is done in the next days. If I do the full assignment in 18 hours, how much time do I need to do two thirds of the assignment? If you get the full work done, to do a fraction of the work, you will take less time. So if I to do two thirds of the work, I need two thirds of 18 hours, which is 12 hours. To do three fourths of the work, I will do three by four into 18. 4 ones are 4, 4.5 is a 4.5 into 3, 13.5. Okay. So, do, to find the fraction of the work, multiply the total time by this fraction. Hmm? So, if I have to do 3 by 4, I multiply it by 3 by 4. If I want to do 2 by 3, I take 2 by 3 of the total. If I build a wall in 20 days, how many days do I need to do 25% of the work? 25% of the work is 1 by 4. I just multiply it by 1 by 4 into 20. I, I need 5 days to do 25% of the work. So first 25% gets done in 5, 50% in totally in 10 days, and another 25%, 75% in 15 days, and 100% in 20 days. Let's look at a few problems. Carpenter can do 30% of the work in 9 days, right? And welder can do one third of the work in 10 days, painter can do 3 times the work in 82 days. Who takes the least time to do the work? Carpenter can do 30%, so 30 by 100th of the work is done in 9 days. One work is done in how many days? So, 30 by 100 into x is equal to 9. x is equal to 900 by 30. So, he takes 30 days to finish the work. That is carpenter. Welder can do. So, one third of the work is done in 10 days. One work is done in how many days? Okay. One work is done in how many days? So, one third of x is equal to 10. x is equal to 10 into 3, which is also 30. Painter can do 3 times the work in 82 days. So, 3 so three work is done in 82 days. One work is done in how many days? x is equal to 82 by 3. We know, we know 27 into 3 is 81. So, and 28 into 3 is 84. So, this is 27.33. So, welder, uh, sorry, welder can, welder will take 30 days, carpenter will take 30 days, painter will take 27.3 days, 27.33 days. So, the least time is taken by the painter. Chintu can do two-third of the work in six days. So, very quickly what we do is two-third is in six, one work is done in x. So, x is equal to six divided by two by three, six into three by two x is equal to 9 days. So, Chintu can, Chintu takes 9 days. 
observed as four fifth of the work in 12 days. So one work he takes how much time? So x is equal to 12 divided by 4 by 5, 15 days. This is what observed is. Ramesh can do twice the work in 10 days. Okay. So two work, two units of work he does in 10 days. One unit he takes how many days? 10 by 2, he takes 5 days. So Ramesh takes 5 days, Afzal takes 15 days, Chintu takes 9 days. If they work together, one day's work of Chintu is 1 by 9, plus one day's work of Afzal is 1 by 15, and one day's work of Ramesh is 1 by 5. This is their A plus Afzal plus Chintu plus Ramesh is one day work. So LCM for this is um, 45. So 5 plus 3 plus 9 is one day's work. So I get uh, 8, 17 by 45. 17 by 45 is one day's work. One day's work. So total time taken by them will be 45 by 17 days. It will remain a fraction. It was 17, 45 doesn't go in 17. If you want to make it as a mixed fraction, you can do it 17 2 is 34, 34, then remainder will be 11, 2, 11 by 17 days, which is the same. Let's look at the next problem. Raju completes two thirds of the work in 12 days. So to complete the entire work, two thirds he takes 12. To complete one, he takes how much? 12 into 3 by 2. So it will be he Raju will take 18 days. He finishes two thirds of the work in 12 days. So Raju alone would have taken 18 days. Venkatapati joins him and he finishes the rest in 4 days. Meaning, 12, after 12 days, right? This is, let's say 12 days have passed. Two thirds is finished. Two thirds is finished. How much is left? One third is left. Okay. So, one third of the work is done by Raju and Venkatapati. Venkatapati. So what are they saying? See, Raju can do two thirds of the work in 12 days, which means Raju alone can finish in 18 days. But Venkatapati joins in after 12 days and they finish the work in 4 days from them. Meaning, in 16 days totally, 12 of initial Raju and 4. So, how much of the work is done by Raju and Venkatapati together? He has finished two thirds, so one third is left. So Raju and Venkatpati, one third of the work they do in four days. Okay, one work they do in how many days? They do in, so this is x, x is equal to 4 divided by 1 by 3, which is equal to 12 days. Raju and Venkatpati together take 12 days to solve. If Venkatpati was working alone, how much time does it take to finish the entire work alone? So, what we need to do here is Raju and Venkatpati finish in four days, but in four days they are only doing one third of the work. Together, if they are working from the start, they would have finished in 12 days. Okay. So Raju and Venkatpati's when uh, so Raju's one day work is 1 by 18. Venkatpati's one day work we do not know. Raju and Venkatpati's one day work from here will be 1 by 12. So if you have to find out, you do 1 by 12 minus 1 by 18. LCM is 36. 3 minus 2. So 1 which is equal to 1 by 36 which is equal to 1 by x. Venkatapati working alone would have taken 36 days. See this. So initially from start 1 by 36 plus 1 by 18 would have given 1 by 20 here. So which is correct. Work, Venkatapati working alone. So what you will do? You find out two, from 2 thirds of the work you find alone. He takes how many days? We got 18. Then you see how much work is left? 1 by 3. 1 by 3 if you are doing in 4, the entire unit of the work you do in how much, which is 12 days. And then 12 you put in this equation. 1 day's work of each person is 1 by 18 plus 1 by x together is 1 by 12. It's a good question which looks at all the basic concepts in time and work. Saurabh does a piece of work in 10 days. So in 1 day Saurabh is doing, Saurabh in 1 day is doing, sorry, Saurabh in 1 day is doing, 1 by 10th of the work. Jigar in one day is doing 1 by 40th of the work. 
okay if they work together fraction of work done by saurabh is to jigar is 1 by 10 is to 1 by 40 okay which is the same as 1 by 10 you did 1 by 40 which is 40 is to 10 4 is to 1 so saurabh is doing four units of work jigar is doing one units of work what is the fraction of the work done by jigar fraction of the work done by saurabh is saurabh's work 4 divided by 4 plus 1 this is his fraction saurabh will do 4 by 5 of the work jigar will do 1 divided by 4 plus 1 is equal to 1 by 5 of the work 1/5 of the work is done by jigar 4/5 of the work is done by saurabh so you have seen problems in this video of the type part fraction percentage of the work okay we looked at efficiency times etc in the previous video we looked at the basic concept in the first video you see how the difficulty level is slowly increasing you also see how if you have not seen the initial video subsequent videos it becomes very tough to solve so whichever topic you cover start from the first video in this way spare some time and then look at all the videos and solve along with me or solve after me okay then you will uh, have that learning forever with you if you like this video and you liked how we have explained it in very simple terms click on the thumbs up sign subscribe to our channel click on the bell icon so that you do not miss out on any videos share it with your friends and show us your appreciation in the comment sections and i request you to do that and if you need more practice for company specific tests module specific tests additional courses please visit our website sciencesstandard.com and utilize uh, what you feel is best for you okay thank you so much for your time thank you so much for visiting our channel and i hope you you become a regular and i hope you benefit from all that we have to offer thank you